It's time for another Kingdom Hearts World Tour, and like I said last time, this one is going to be Halloween Town. Obviously, it starts right here in, um, was it Guillotine Gate? Or Guillotine Gate? Which is pretty much where you start anytime, you know, you enter the world, even when you first come here in the story. This itself is a pretty small room. We got the mayor here that we can talk to. Also got Lock, Shock, and Barrel are in here. This is obviously post-game, so this is the world as it is post-game. That's important for the end. If you've played Kingdom Hearts, you know why. Bunch of scraggly trees. I like the hill textures. I like the aesthetic of this world very much. Like the general aesthetic of, uh, of Halloween Town in general. Everything's kind of faded, dull. I like the... You know, it, it's that texture that was in the uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas, it, and it's very sort of symbolic of that Tim Burton like stop motion style of animation film. I like this jack lantern. I guess it's a lamp post. I don't know what the little jack lantern here exactly is for, but you can hit it. It doesn't seem to do anything, but you can hit it. Also, let's just take a moment to appreciate that Sora is a vampire. <laughs> Donald is a mummy with his stomach missing because, you know, he's like a ghost mummy or something. And Goofy's like a Franken-goof because he's got a bolt in his head. He's got a little jack-o'-lantern. He's like a patchwork Franken-goof. He's got a patchwork nose with a jack-o'-lantern on the tip for his nose. Some patchy pants, some tattered pants. Oh, bro, this is the first time I've realized you can see his toes. What? What are those toes? <laughs> They're so long! Hold up! Oh, look down, look down, Goofy's toes. Oh, he's got claws! He's got claws on his hands, too, but like, look at his toes! <laughs> sorry, sorry, Goof. Anyways. I would assume these are supposed to be light posts, but they're not lit, and then we got like these what look like tombstones, but I think they're just statues. That one kind of looks like Zero. Uh, it's got like a jack o lantern Oh, there's Zero right there. Speaking of, look at Zero. Little ghost doggy. I love how he just vibes. And he disappears when you walk away, so he only appears when you get close. This is supposed to be a cat or something? I'm not I'm not I'm not sure. A lot of stonework. Let's go through the gate into Guillotine Square. Here we are in Guillotine Square. Got some Jack Lantern uh I guess light posts again. We got some Jack Lanterns up here. Oh uh, here's some little pumpkins. Oh no, they are Jack Lanterns, okay, and they're emitting light onto the wall. It's a really cool lighting effect. You know, I've spoken previous world tours about um, how well I thought they handled the lighting in a game this old. Is that wood? Is that It's a wood wall, it looks like. Because those look like wooden planks. It's not dirt. Looks like wooden planks uh, beneath what may have been a completed stone wall at one time. This, uh, I think it's supposed to be a store of some kind. Uh, I, it's hard to read what that says. Ch is it like C H E Chian? I don't. I can't really tell what that sign is supposed to say. I don't know if it's supposed to be a a little like shopping stall or something. We got a little well over here with a cage. I don't know if it's like a torture cage or something, <laughs> but it does have water in it. The water texture is kind of cool. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the sky box a little bit. It's just a red sky that dims as you look further up, and you can see the fog effects around. Oh, look at that. Sorry, every time I go into... Goof, get out of my way! Every time I go into first-person view, because of the uh, binding of my controller sort of swings, because it's also bound to, like, a mouse button. Are those, like, rods or something coming out of the top of the gate? Those, like, swiggly... Are they like lightning rods or something? I don't know. I got like some spikes along uh, the square here, the walls of the square. It doesn't look like they're over on that end. Um, they are over here. Goof, please! What is this? It's like town hall. 
days to Halloween. 36! There's 36 days to Halloween. Well, in this world, anyways. You cannot go in here. It's just a 2D texture for the door. These columns, they look okay from a distance, but you get really close to them, and they look, they look like, really bad. <laughs> like, really bad. Jack Lantern, uh, looks like a cloth or, or like a, a banner up there. There's another well, a fountain, with this green waters where, uh, Jack comes up out of in the movie as well as in the game. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Looks like he's got wings. I don't. Is it a dragon? Some sort of gargoyle or something? I'm not sure what exactly it's supposed to be depicting. It's got scales. Looks like horns, teeth, wings. But it's got like a snake-like body. Hard to say what exactly it's supposed to be depicting. I always really like these these really big jack-o'-lantern faces up here. They're really cool. I mean, I like the Halloween aesthetic, and I like. I mean, there's a lot of people that like Halloween, but I like old-school Halloween. You know, I grew up um, mostly in the, the early 2000s. You know, I was born in the 90s, but most of my growing up was done in the early 2000s. So, like, I'm a little bit old-school with Halloween. I like jack-o'-lanterns and stuff. This gate opens on its own to go up here. Uh, I don't remember. Is this Jack's house? You can pull this. Just a little scream. Um, I think I've already done it, but if you do it uh, enough times, I think you get something out of it. An item or something. I can't really remember. I'm pretty sure I've already done it. And I think you have to like ring it like three times to get it. I can't remember. Is this Jack's house or is this the mayor's house? It, it's one of them. Not a lot over here. Just more swiggly hills, like weird textured hills. It's a tiny little house. <laughs> like, that's tiny. Jack's house is actually not, like, super small. I like this. It's got, like, jack-o'-lantern uh, design here on this uh, fence. Looks like faces up there as well. I really dig this. That thing's cool. I think it's supposed to be like a giant jack o' lantern, giant pumpkin with like supports or legs or something. You can get up there pretty uh, fairly easy. You also get up here. There's normally a chest up here, and you can just glide over here. A lot of the places there will be chests up here as well. A lot of these places you need to come back with glide in order to reach. There's a guillotine over here. In Kingdom Hearts 2, this guillotine will drop if you get too close to it and can damage you. It doesn't do that here in this game. These are some huge steps. You have to actually, like, jump. Who can, like, walk up these steps like a normal person besides Jack Skellington? Because you have to jump to get up them. There's another Jack o' Lantern lamppost. We're going to go into the lab entryway. Not really anything to look at in here. Some more texturing, some more walls, staircase... Because he's kind of like Dr. Frankenstein, in a way. He's got, like, these light bulb. I guess they're supposed to be, like, light fixtures. But, you know, they're, like, light bulbs. Real science-y type stuff, you know. It's this tower. Go into the research lab. It's a big metal door. This is where Jack is, Sally, and the, the good doctor. He's got a panel kind of broken over here. Oh, it looks like he had a cave-in or something. And it busted the panel in. Got a bookcase over here. You can uh, find a torn page over here. For anyone who might be missing a torn page. Let's talk to Jack really quick. Maybe next time. Uh, got some science equipment on top of this bookshelf. It's like beakers and like test tube and I don't know, maybe a trash can or something. Sally. Two boxes or crates on the top shelf of the, of the bookshelf. I'm down, sore. Got a little lamp, another test tube, another canister of some kind. I'm not sure what this is. Is this like a washing station? 
maybe? Or is it a toilet? <laughs> Does bro even go to the bathroom? Hey, big dog. My artificial heart should have been a huge success. It was a huge failure. I can't figure out what went wrong. Just looking at some scientific plans. It's a bunch of gibberish to me. Most of it's scribbles. I think I can make out an A, B, C there. But the rest of it's like, I see a circle and a square and just some little swiggles. Let's see, a heart, an arrow, a few arrows. Oh, the reindeer, there's the, uh, there's the reindeer design. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Part of the page is burnt. Over here he's got, uh, something going on. That looks like a plug. So, like, maybe set something on it. Maybe plugs in or something. The fluid looks like it's going up, not down. So, it looks like the fluid is going up into these tubes. Or maybe it's cycling. I don't know. It's a gauge of some kind right there. Calm down. Some sort of gauge right here. Some little knobs for adjusting whatever the, the heck these things are supposed to be. Those look... Like, what do they look like? They kind of look like the uh, the middle part of a. What's that instrument? What's that? That's what's that really funny instrument? It's like an accordion or something. They look like they shrink and extend. It's a light up there. A rod holding this big ball. I think it generates electricity or something. What's this hooked up to? That looks like a big uh, switch of some kind. This is a little test table where he makes his abominations. Uh, it's actually... Okay, so the floor is graded. Looks like there's, like, something down there. I don't... Like, is it for, like, waste or something to dri come off the table and go down there or something? I don't know why he's got an extra area down there. Does he keep prisoners or something? Oh, there's actually two giant balls in the ceiling. Haha! <laughs> They've not dropped. Um, a light right here. The ceiling is made of solid steel as well, so everything in here is made of steel. Oh, look, it's like a little spider tick face alien thing design on the door. I don't know what it's supposed to be, actually. I just got another loose panel back behind the book where uh, looks like some, some more rocks. Let's see if I can adjust my view. Yeah, some more rocks have, like, caved in and pushed the panel in. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's head back out. Let's go back through, uh, back out to the square. We're going to head into the graveyard, the cemetery. Nothing over here, just some steps and some hills and the gate to the cemetery. And you can kind of see beyond where... It, like the backdrop the far ends of the map it's really not that far away i don't think the room itself like if we could actually go beyond this gate based on just looking at it i'm guessing the ground tilts up really steeply and has these little like what would actually be like the size of weeds but because of forced perspective they look like trees in the distance so let's go to the graveyard Okay, we're not going to bother with these guys. At least you get a little bit different music. This looks like a... Honestly, it looks like a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. Just like a ghost version. Or a... Oh, no, he's got legs. I thought he was just like one body. Yeah, he kind of looks like a Blue-Eyes White Dragon or like a duel, mo a duel monster of some kind. Yeah, they'll go away eventually. Deuces. Right, this is Zero's... Uh, doghouse and tombstones where he's buried but you know zero's a ghost it's a ghost dog so it's, it, it's both his home and his grave all right all these statues they're all the same dragon and stuff got some tombstones right here speaking of dual monsters and Yu-Gi-Oh, that kind of looks like the millennium puzzle right there on that tombstone <laughs> You can't make out, like, if there's anything actually supposed to be on these. It's just, like, swiggles. Like, a little diamond design on that one. I like how, like, crooked they are. 
Like the tombstones are really wacky looking. I really, I really like that. The, the disorganized feeling of Halloween decorations and stuff here in this world. This is a cool tombstone. Actually, that's actually a pretty cool looking tombstone. And then this is like a big coffin, big sarcophagus, which you can actually enter. Okay, we actually, we gotta get rid of these guys before we can jump in, so let's make them disappear. Okay, good. They all disappeared. You can light this. Fire. And you'll be able to go immediately to the Curly Hill. But first, we're gonna jump into the sarcophagus because it takes us to another part of the map. We also had a good view of the moon from there. So that's the door we just came through. It's got like a jack-o'-lantern with bat wings on it, which is pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Uh, so that's another graveyard over there. You see it? We can get to that, believe it or not. This was a big jack-o'-lantern that explodes uh, early when you come here, obviously. And you meet the mayor here, and you have to do the little uh, sort of like matching game or memory game with these tombstones. The ghosts would like come up out of them. We can't do that now, but this looks like a, a weird looking guitar or something. Like the design, it looks like strings on a guitar or like a ukulele or something, but it's like all weird and swiggly looking. That, that design looks similar to like what was on the sarcophagus. This little hanging skeleton, he kind of jingles if you get close to him. I think maybe he only does it once, but he just did it a moment ago. The bad thing about this area is that it locks your camera once you're right here, so you like you can't look around very easily. Of course, if you go into first person view, you can look around. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Like these here? I don't they're not trees. They don't look like leaves. They're just like growths from the ground like they look like roots almost some more tombstones big goof no right, let's go back into first person that looks like a cat it's definitely a cat it's got whiskers the ears yep it's definitely a cat and he looks evil just like cats see we can go through that door as well look out See if I can go into first person view. We can see the moon and it's huge. Really nothing beyond this wall. Just a hill and the moon. And it's like, it's never daytime in Halloween Town. So I can't really say like the horizon. Look how huge the moon is. Like that's massive. All right, we can go through this. And it drops us here at the Curly Hill. Right, I wanted to come back out here really quick before I go back in there and clear all the Heartless out and make a note of this little graveyard that's across the fence. There is a way in there. Like I said, this door brings us to the uh, Curly Hill. I'm going to clear out the Heartless and I'll like proceed. A Christmas tree door or whatever. Looks like a Christmas tree door. Like a pine tree at least. Um, this is the platform where if you light it, it'll take you back to the regular cemetery. Look, it's got a little spider web design on it. Spiders. A lot of really large jack-o'-lanterns here at the hill. Some more tombstones. Oh, this one's cool. It looks like a bat. That's really sick. A little jack-o'-lantern. Another really good view of the moon, especially if you go to the top of the hill. Some scraggly trees. Some more jack-o'-lanterns. Some jack-o'-lanterns placed on the tombstones. That's actually kind of cool. Somebody got a little morbid here. Or a little comical. So a lot of jack lanterns over here. They put some on spikes. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Put some jack lanterns on spikes right there. Some more tombstones. Now, if you come up here and you activate this tombstone, you'll go to the end of the curly hill. Hold on, let me get take care of these guys. I didn't even realize there were guys up here. Anyways, here's a view from the top of the curly hill. Like, nothing off in the distance. There's the gate back to Guillotine Square. It just ends. <laughs> like, it doesn't even go into a tunnel or anything. You can see, it just ends. Like, I guess you have to walk over the 
the hill or something to get back to guillotine squares how it works of course we just get a loading screen some more of those weird extensions from the ground really good view of the moon right here it's massive but there is like nothing beyond out here imagine walking out there it's just like a void it would actually be terrifying i think to what there's like there's no vegetation out there or anything it's just darkness it would actually be kind of scary all right but first before we do that so i was wrong the tree door is not the door we came through that was the door we needed to take so forgive me for that i just heard something laughing what the hell so interesting little tombstone but this is that little uh cemetery that we saw from over watch if i get close to the skeleton he's gonna like jingle oh no he already did it all right never mind is this like a standing coffin or is it like a little it's like a standing tomb or is it just a huge tombstone i'm not sure this is an interesting looking tombstone it's like a spider is it a spider like a, it kind of looks yellow and black striped. Is it a spider or like a bee? Or is it like a tick or something? Well, hold on. How many legs does it have? That's got to be a spider. Okay. Weird. Oh. So these are just like extensions and growths from the ground. Yeah, I don't get it. Some more little tombstones. These are fenced off. Maybe there's like a family of something here. Another doorway that you cannot go through. But this is kind of cool looking. I like the skull with... Uh, it looks like a, a hawk or a raven or something at the top. The little uh, design attaching the three pieces is really cool. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I just heard something laughing again. I don't know what it's supposed to be. R.I.P. That's a big stone. Look at this. Is there like a, a cat or something buried here? What is this? It's huge. But it's like sunken into the ground. You can come here and there's like some items and stuff to find here in the game. This is interesting. Is someone buried in this thing? Or not buried, but is someone like dead in this thing? Looks like a bird cage or something, almost. It's hanging on a tree. Are these people's houses? It's like a little cross. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a doorknob or something. These kind of look like weeds or something, but they're too thick to be weeds. They're not they're not leafy or anything. I like design on this door. This is cool. I don't know if that's supposed to be an uh, insect of some kind. But it's, it's weird looking. Another door you cannot go through, but the design thing on it is, is pretty cool. Maybe that's some kind of creature that's buried here. I don't know. And then this it looks like a wolf or like a dog or something. Looks even got a tail right there. <laughs> the face is kind of misshapen, but like a V on the door. I like this area. I think this is a really cool, a really cool little area. So we can't go through there. I thought that's where we came out at. We came, uh, we came out right here. So we'll jump back through this door. Yeah, so I was wrong initially. The the tree door is not where we came through at. This is where we came through at. Oh look, it's like a dog and a cat maybe with a umbrella that has like bat wings at the top. That that those bat wings kind of look a little similar to like Robert Pattinson's Batman symbol. Let's cross the curly hill. Okay, the enemies are cleared out. Here's another one of those lantern uh, lifts that you can light. It'll take you back over. There's not a lot here. It's just like an in-between little room. I don't think anything of importance actually happens here. You got jack-o'-lanterns. Um, normally some heartless just appear here. You got a bridge. That takes you to like where Oogie's Manor was. Some more massive steps. It's like a ghost design or something on the wall. Down here, this little green water river. I wonder if this is the same kind of water that that uh, fountain pools. 
Looks like it's running down that way. Now, you may have noticed a little opening down here. That will go back to uh, Guillotine Square, I believe. It's like, yeah, it'll go back to Guillotine Square if you get too close and go inside of it. And there won't be another fast way back to here, so if you accidentally go through there, you'll have to go all the way back around to come back to this area. A cool looking archway. If we go through this archway across the bridge, we go to the Manor Ruins. Now, obviously, this is different now than it would have been earlier in the game. I'm going to try to use some footage from my last playthrough of the game and try to do my best to do sort of a world tour-y kind of thing there, but I wasn't necessarily really thinking about it at the time. But I want to show Oogie Boogie's manner. So... It'll, it'll be a little weird, but I wanted to be able to show it, and I didn't think to make a separate save so I could show it in the future. But this was an extended bridge. Everything's completely destroyed. It's like a huge crater in the ground, and you see a bunch of trees off in the distance. There's the really big moon. There's the pathway that we came from. Now, if you drop down here, there's a good chance that a a rare heartless it's not a boss it's just a rare heartless will appear it and you have to like grind it to uh to do synthesis and get the ultimate weapon and stuff like that but i'm gonna if he does appear i'm gonna have to fight him and then we'll we'll look around down there so let's go ahead and jump up okay so i did end up having to fight the heartless anyways he's not that difficult to defeat um, there's a certain strategy you need to use, especially if you're grinding the ultimate weapon. But anyways, there's another little green river. Goes from one end to the other there. Uh, Oogie's Manor was right here. In the original version of the game, I think there was a missable chest. It's no longer missable because even once Oogie's Manor is gone, you can find it, um, I believe, down here. It's just a big open area. But there's a little opening down here under this guillotine. And if you miss the chest, it'll be down here. This was a part of Oogie's Manor, I believe. Just collapsed in and fell. I was trying to see if I could jump in. I cannot. I like the, like, solid outline that it has. That's actually pretty cool. There's really not a lot here. It's just boulders, that opening, the little guillotine down here. A huge crater. This gateway, which was here when Oogie's Manor was here. We got some jack-o'-lanterns on spikes here as well. Now, if you go through this, it's going to take you back to the bridge. Spits you out right here. Now, there's Heartless here, but we're just going to ignore them. And like I said earlier, if you go through here, it will take you to Guillotine Square. Back to Guillotine Square. Alright, so this is where I'm going to introduce... Oh, I, did, I just noticed there's, like, cats up there. We didn't look up before. It's like, little cats up there. Oh, you can see the tower that, like, Jack was working in. So that is Jack's house, for sure. Jack landed on the gate. Goofy, please. I'm trying to see things. It's a really neat design on top of the gate up there as well. Make sure there's nothing else that we forgot to look at. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like a bat design up there next to the clock. It's a spider web clock. But anyways, I'm going to see if I can use gameplay from my last playthrough of Oogie Boogie's Manor to show it off as well. Okay, so this is going to be a little weird because obviously I'm taking gameplay um, from before. So I'm going to have to just kind of work with what I had recorded from this gameplay. So obviously here at Oogie's Manor, we have this big bridge. This is above the crater from before. So we have this really big bridge, kind of a shoddy bridge, crosses over to the main gate here. And this is uh, when I came to the world initially, obviously, because the manor is even here. Got these jack-o'-lanterns on spikes and stuff. It's supposed to look kind of ominous, but in that Tim Burton sort of way, still sort of wacky. <coughs> so, uh... And the manor does change shape, you know, during the final Oogie Boogie boss fight. Hard to tell, but it looks like, like maybe, like, 
it, maybe like bat faces were above the archway, the door archway. This is down where you go through the doorway to find Oogie himself. So I jumped down here to the bottom. I think I did this knowing I was going to have to use this for a world tour at some point. The crater is basically how it looked before. Because there's the archway over there um, that did have like a big boulder in front of it. And uh, there's the Red Trinity as well. The walking bathtub just kind of walks around. That's how you get back up to the bridge if you do fall down here. Um, when Oogie's Manor is originally here. So... That tub's not here, obviously, after you have completed the world. There's really just some jack-o'-lanterns down here. Not much else really going on in this area. Use the bathtub. It'll walk you up Oogie's Manor, back up to the front gate. Go through the main doorway, and you have one of those, like, lamp, lantern lifts. I just cleared out these heartless real quick. It was only like two, so no point in, you know, putting in a cut here. Like a little doorway right there. I, I don't think it goes anywhere, but there's a lot of those such doorways uh, in this world. You light the lantern with fire like all the other lifts in this world. When it comes back down, jump on it, it takes you up to the next level. I always thought the Crab Claw Keyblade looked really weird in this world just because it's so different from the aesthetic. It's like a little outhouse up here. I don't know. Like, I, these little, like, little, um, buildings off to the side of the walkways. I don't really know what their purpose would be for Oogie Boogie himself. You got a platform down here that I jump, I dropped down to. There was just some Heartless down there. Really nothing to look at. We got, like, these spiky gates, and I have no idea what this is. It's like an opening that goes literally nowhere. It's like, uh, maybe they intended to put something there and just never did. Some rusty metal pieces are holding up this sort of walkway, this catwalk here. You got these big cages that drop down when you hit a certain gear. I like that some parts of Oogie's Manor look like mouths, kind of like uh, teethed mouth, uh, mouths that jut out from the side. It's like a giant tree, almost. Take that. It's got, like, other branches and stuff coming out of it. Up here we have these really large steps. If you look at the roof to the side there, I think it's got, like, a face on it. Like, a little ghostly jack-o'-lantern face on it. Yeah, it's got, like, a little face there. I didn't have a lot of time to show it, but... Go up this bridge is where you do the, uh... The fight with, uh... Lock, Shock, and Barrel. A lot of things in this room, I don't have time to go over it. There's, like, a little catapult thing with a hand. Got the lever that you hit, that will lower the cages and stuff. That face is where they threw the heart. You see the little mouth opening. I don't know what's behind that curtain. Got a bunch of little faces on the walls and some designs and things, you know, along the wall. Look like a plunger there on the side of the wall. Head back out here. We're back out here to this bridge with what looks like ribs coming up the side, but they're moving. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what they actually are supposed to be. That tree looks like an open hand. So we're going back down the walkway we took to get up there. It's like, that's, it looks like a castle turret that's just kind of bent over. I guess that was a chest I missed my first time coming through here. As you see, the cages have now dropped down. Uh, they have like treasure chests and stuff in them. So. I don't know if you technically have to fight Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I've always done it, but there's a way to drop down to Oogie Boogie's door without ever fighting them. So, I don't... Someone who's maybe uh, did a speedrun or whatever, or just like a really quick run through of the world, would have to tell me, do you have to fight Lock, Shock, and Barrel? I always have by default. Just because it's what I, I... I just... I played the worlds more or less to completion, so... I've never tried to go through Oogie Boogie's door without fighting them. Like, will it let you through, or is it just prevent you from going through? another one of those cages that drop down to a lower platform. So you can take this door here and it shoots you out down here in the area where the doorway to fight Oogie Boogie is. But of course you don't have to take that door, you can just drop down here. Oogie Boogie's door looks like Oogie. It's a guillotine with like Oogie's face on it. And there's going to be little bits of the boss fight here just so I can quickly go over this room. 
It's you got like the slots on the platform of the Oogie standing on these blades that drop down with these skull designs that try to cut you up. You know, Oogie's like he likes like gambling, dice rolling and stuff like that. You got Jack Lanterns in here. Three soldiers that'll try to shoot you. You got these buttons in the center around this column with different colors lining it. Um, obviously, I mean, if you've played the game, you know that once they light up, you gotta hit the right button in line with where Oogie is in order to prevent him from going further. Jump up there and just start whacking him. Jack Lantern's up top. Looks like some sort of control panel over to the side. The room itself was like stone metal made. Unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of time to go through all of that. A little unconventional world tour. I didn't plan ahead for this, but I wanted to include it. That's Oogie Boogie in preparation for the final fight. He takes the shape of his manor, his mansion, his castle, whatever you want to call it. Holds a lantern that shoots out fire. So this is Oogie now. And you have to, like, break the, the little bulbs of darkness. Break them up. And you can see, like, parts of the manor had just sort of melded with his body. But I'm not going to go through the whole thing here. Because it would just be a headache to try and do Okay, and that is the Halloween Town World Tour. Uh, if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any Kingdom Hearts content from this channel. Um, I, Kingdom Hearts news lately at the time of this video has been pretty dry. Um, I hope to put out a lot more stuff once you know the Kingdom Hearts like news picks back up. But the next World Tour will be Neverland, I believe. So. We're getting close to the end of the Kingdom Hearts worlds. If you like these types of videos, again, don't forget to like them. Please leave a comment. Um, let me know if you do like them, because that also is a way to let me know. And hit the bell when you subscribe so that you don't miss any uploads. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you in the next one.